Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Here is a, a sketch of a jackal that I designed some time ago. This is the finished rig and here is a slightly lighter version of the sketch that we would now analyze. So the first thing I do when I am about to start preparing a rig is to define where my joints will be and what type of joints I will need for the different areas. So here we'll need a big circular joint separating the torso and the neck. We'll need another circular joint here defining the connection between the neck and the head. We'll need a circular joint somewhere here for the upper leg. Now the knee may have type 2 joint with a little circle just just here and the elements will overlap like this and like this this one here the heel will be just type 3 joint and here we'll have another circular joint with the front leg it doesn't really matter how we treat this first part but shoulder blade will have a form a shape kind of like this and then here we might have another type 2 that leads us to a bit that looks kind of like this that's the upper arm and the elbow would have another type 3 joint so the second bit will be kind of Kind of like this and then here we'll have a full circle type 1 joint and another full circle here another type 1 joint so this is the quick analysis of all the joints and of course the tail just a quick recap shoulder blade pivoting here an element that goes like this and ends sharply here with one sharp joint here at the elbow another element that goes into a circle pivoting here this goes like this and another element that goes into a circle and then finally the foot will be just like this and now let's look at the final jackal. If I go outlines, this is more or less exactly what I did. With one exception, which um, I've just spotted. Here I went for a type 3 joint. Now let us look at how these joints actually function. First one would be the neck and head articulation. Here you go. Pretty decent amount of travel before they break. Now shoulder blade, front leg. Here we go. can go quite far forward adjusting it now it can swing backward as well and now the back leg it can stretch just like this it can bend forward like this it this one type 3 will need an adjustment 
but it's otherwise it's very flexible a reindeer this is how the neck and head function type 1 joint with front leg let's look at it so this is type 2 this is type 3 and all these others are type 1 here again type 1 type 2 type 3 and so on so if we decide to test this leg quite reasonably backward that much and then that much and it can travel a lot forward and all this looks quite quite natural we might need to move it a little bit lower but there's a lot of travel and a lot of reasonable range of movement so this is quite quite decent with swing swinging this one backward we can go like this and like this and like this and forward we can push that way and that way now you can see it breaks here we can just uh, compensate a little bit and we can get a lot of reasonable realistic posing without worrying too much about the joints another example here with this ostrich just a different type of creature but this leg here is based on three type 1 joints so here you go I've done the same trick with this heel here so I've I've added a little bit of edge to conceal the perfect roundness of the joint but you can see how convincing and how how well they articulate okay I'll, I'll undo and I'll just play back this uh, walk cycle so that you can see it and just for a goodbye I'll show you this ballet walk that I did based on one of the Strauss's famous waltzes called the Blue Danube. Freshly Flanimated animated.